Hello mga ka JTV, this is Sir Joel of Sir JTV Channel. In this video lesson, we will discuss about inverse variation. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to illustrate situations that involve inverse variation, translates into variation statement a relationship between two quantities given by table of values, mathematical equation, a graph, and vice versa and solves problem involving inverse variation. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at pindutin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga i-upload ko mga video lessons. Pindutin din ang like button sa ibaba kung nakatulong itong video lesson sa iyo. So, let's begin. Okay, define muna natin kung ano ba yung inverse variation. So, inverse variation occurs whenever a situation produces pairs of numbers whose product is constant. Okay, so dito, meron daw tayong pares ng numbers. Ito yung dalawang variable natin. So, we have variables x and y. And sabi niya dyan, product daw. So, pag mumultiply natin yung dalawang variables na yun, and yung makukuha nating answer ay constant. Okay, di ba doon sa direct variation, ano siya, um, ratio. Pinag-divide natin yung dalawang variable tapos makuha yung constant. Pero dito sa inverse variation, pinag-multiply natin yung dalawang variables. Then makuha natin yung constant. This statement, y varies inversely to x and y is inversely proportional to x, may be translated mathematically as y equals k over x where k is the constant of the variation. So dito sa inverse variation, yung magiging um, mathematical statement natin ay y equals k over x. So, matatranslate natin itong y bars inversely to x tsaka y is inversely proportional to x as this equation. So, y varies inversely as x. So, yung gagawin natin dito is yung unang variable na nabanggit, siya yung nasa left side. And yung pangalawang variable na nabanggit dyan sa inverse variation, siya yung nasa right side ng equation. Pero siya yung nasa denominator. And yung constant natin, siya yung nasa numerator lagi. Okay? So, isang variable nasa left side, yung isang variable nasa right side na nasa denominator. And yung constant natin lagi siya nasa numerator. So, doon sa direct variation, di ba, pinagmumultiply natin itong constant tsaka yung isang variable. Pero dito sa inverse variation, pinagdi-divide nat natin yung constant at saka yung isang variable. Okay, so ito yung pinaka uh, mathematical statement natin dito sa inverse variation. So, yung constant naman, ito yung equation natin, formula. Multiply lang natin yung dalawang variable, then makuha natin yung constant. Okay, for two quantities x and y, an increase in x causes a decrease in y. So, meron tayong dalawang variable, di ba? Yung x and y. Kapag daw tumaas yung isang variable natin, yung x, ang mangyayari kay y is bababa siya. So, opposite sila, di ba? A decrease in x causes an increase in y. So, kung bababa naman itong x na ito, si y, tataas siya. So, opposite. Unlike doon sa direct variation na kapag tumaas yung x, tataas din yung y. At kapag bumaba naman yung x, bababa din si y. Dito sa inverse variation, baligtad. Kapag tumaas si x, bababa si y. Or, um, bababa si x, then, tataas si y. Okay, so baligtad sila. Okay, so let's have an example. Rose Ann wants to have an extension of her house. She clearly knows that the number of days depends on number of workers. So, si Rose Ann daw ay gusto niya ang ano, uh, pa-extend yung house niya. So, alam, siyempre alam naman niya na uh, yung number of days uh, bago matapos yung um, bahay niya is magdedepende kung gaano karami yung mga workers niya. So, some possible number of days and number of workers are as follows. So, meron tayong table of values na gagawin. So, ito. So, we have number of workers. So, pwede natin siyang denote as W or X. 
Tapos we have number of days naman, pwede natin i-denote as D or Y. So, ito yung number of workers, we have 2, 4, 6, 8. Kapag dalawa daw yung workers, natat matatapos yung uh, bahay ng 24 days. Kapag apat naman yung workers, matatapos lang ng 12 days. Kapag anim yung workers, 8 days lang niya matatapos. And kapag uh, walo naman yung workers niya, uh, 6 days lang matatapos yung bahay. Okay, dito mapapansin natin di ba na yung number of workers nag increase yung value pero yung number of days nag decrease siya. So dito, uh, masasabi natin na, uh, pwede natin sabihin na this is an example of inverse variation kasi nag, nag opposite sila di ba? nag increase yung isang variable tapos yung isa nag decrease naman. Pero kailangan pa natin i-check kung may constant ba yan. So kapag uh, isa dito ay uh, iba yung product, then di natin makoconsider to as inverse variation. So, kailangan pare para siya makuha natin constant. So, we have x, y equals k, di ba? So, mumultiply natin yung dalawang variable para makuha yung constant. So, magmumultiply natin ngayon itong 224, 412, 68, tsaka 86. Okay, dito sa 2, 24, 2 times 24, that is 48. Then, dun sa isa naman, 4 times 12, that is 48 pa rin. And 6 times is 8, that is 48. And 8 times 6, that is 48. So, pare-pares yung nakuha nating product. So, ibig sabihin niyan, ito yung constant natin. So, pare-pares sila, ba? So, yung k natin dito ay 48. So, masabi na talaga natin na this is inverse variation kasi pare-pares sila ng constant. So, pinag-multiply natin dalawang numbers, x, y. Uh, nakuha nating answer ay 48. Okay, yung mathematical equation naman niya. If the number of days D is inversely proportional to the number of workers W, then the relationship can be translated into a mathematical statement as D equals K over W, where K is the constant of variation. So, gagawin lang natin yung unang um, variable na nabanggit siya yung nasa left side. So, D, nasa left side siya, is inversely proportional equals then, yung other, another, or other variable, nasa right side siya, pero nasa denominator. Tapos yung numerator nun is constant. Okay, so ganyan yung mathematical statement natin sa inverse variation. So, i-divide natin yung constant at saka yung isang variable. Okay, um, given ulit itong uh, table of values tsaka itong pag-compute ng constant. ba yung nakuha nating mathematical statement is D equals K over W. Pero hindi pa ito yung pinaka-equation natin. Para makuha yung pinaka-equation natin, papalitan natin si K. So, ba na-solve na natin kanina yung K natin, which is 48. So, pwede natin substitute ngayon itong 48 na to doon sa K. So, makuha natin ay D equals 48 over W. So, ito na yung pinaka-equation natin. So, uh, madali na lang natin ma-solve ngayon kung um, ilang days yung aabutin kapag nagdagdag tayo ng um, workers. So, let's say, nagdagdag tayo ng 16. Uh, naging 16 yung workers natin. So, sasubstitute lang natin yung 16 dito sa W, number of workers. So, ayan siya, 16. So, ilang days siya aabutin. So, i-divide lang natin. 48 divided by 16, that is 3. So, kung 16 yung workers mo, um, matatapos mo lang yung bahay ng 3 days. So, ganun ka importante itong equation na ito. So, madali lang natin masasolve yung mga um, atin natin nung dito sa table na ito. So, hindi na natin kailangan uh, mag-list. I-list lahat ng mga number of workers at number of days para makuha yung tinatanong. So, just apply ditong um, equation natin. Okay, paano naman yung graph niya? ng inverse variation. Sa direct variation, di ba? yung graph ng direct variation is straight line. So, dito sa inverse variation, ano kaya yung magiging itsura ng graph natin? So, ipa-plot natin ngayon itong mga coordinates natin dito. So, itong 224, 412, 68, and 86. Ipa-plot natin siya dito sa graph. So, saan banda yung 224? So, tignan natin yung x. Ito 2. 
Tapos yung 24 banda rito siya. So ipa-plot natin yung 224 diyan. Yung 412 naman, ito yung 4. Tapos banda rito yung 12. So ipa-plot natin diyan. And yung 6, 8 naman, ito yung 6 sa x, tapos yung 8 banda rito. So dito natin ipa-plot si 6 8. And last one si 8 6. So nandito yung x natin, tapos yung 6 banda rito. Okay, then connect natin yung mga points. Okay, so dito makikita natin na hindi siya straight line, di ba? Pa-curve siya. Pa-curve. So, yung graph ng inverse variation kasi, ganito siya. Pa-curve pa -curve line siya. Unlike sa uh, direct variation na straight line. Okay? So, again, yung graph ng inverse variation ay curve line. Okay, next, write the mathematical statement for the given variation using k as the constant of variation. So, uh, try natin to. I translate natin. The base B of a triangle varies inversely as its altitude, h. So, paano kaya yung uh, mathematical statement yan? So, yung equation natin is B equals k over h. So, unang nabanggit si B, diba? So, na siya yung nasa left side. Um, then, yung nasa right side is yung altitude. Tapos, nasa denominator siya. And, yung nasa numerator natin, laging, laging yung constant. Number 2, the width of a rectangular box varies inversely to its length. So, paano yung equation natin dito? That is, W equals K over L. Udang nabanggit si width, kaya siya yung nasa left. Tapos, yung nasa right side is yung length. And, yung numerator natin ay laging k. And number 3, the time t required to empty a tank varies inversely as the rate r uh, of pumping. So, paano yung equation natin? So, that is t equals k over r. Unang nabanggit si t, si time, kaya siya yung nasa left side. And pangalawang nabanggit si r, kaya siya yung nasa right side. Nasa denominator siya. And again, yung numerator natin ay laging k or constant. Okay, next is steps on how to find the constant of variation and the equation of variation. So again, uh, susundin lang natin yung steps na uh, ginawa natin dun sa direct variation. So step 1, write the mathematical statement of the variation. Step 2, find the constant of variation. Step 3, substitute the constant to the mathematical statement. So try natin itong example number 1. Suppose that y varies inversely as x and y equals 8 when x equals 3. What is the constant of variation and the equation of variation? So again, kailangan muna nating hanapin si constant bago natin makuha yung equation ng variation. So step 1, write the mathematical statement of the variation. So y varies inversely as x. So pwede natin siyang isulat as y equals k over x. Okay, di ba? Unang nabanggit si y, tapos pangalawa si x. So, si y nasa left side, si x yung nasa right side na nasa denominator, and yung numerator natin ay k. Step 2, find the constant of variation. So, ito yung, ano natin, di ba? Uh, equation natin para makuha yung constant. So, ipagmultiply lang natin yung dalawang variable para makuha yung constant natin. So, yung value ng y ay 8. At yung x naman ay 3. So, isa-substitute lang natin siya dito. Okay, palitan natin si y ng 8 at si x ng 3. So, 8 times 3, that is 24. So, nakuha natin si constant, diba? 24. Step 3, substitute the constant to the mathematical statement. So, isa-substitute lang natin itong 24, yung k natin, dito sa mathematical statement natin. Papalitan lang natin si k ng 24. So, makuha natin ay y equals 24 over x. So, nasagutan natin yung example number 1. Nakuha na natin yung constant variation at yung equation ng uh, variation. Constant is 24 and equation ay y equals 24 over x. Example number 2. The time t required to empty a tank varies inversely as the rate r of pumping. If a pump can empty a tank in 2.5 hours at a rate of 400 gallons per minute, what is the constant of variation and the equation of variation? 
So again, step 1, write the mathematical statement of the variation. So, one on the banggit si T, then followed by R. So, yung magiging uh, mathematical statement natin ay T equals K over R. Una na banggit si T, kaya siya yung nasa left side. And pangalawang na banggit si R, kaya siya yung nasa right side. And numerator natin ay laging K. Step 2, find the constant of variation. So again, given itong equation natin, uh, K equals TR. So pag multiply lang natin dalawang variable. And then, substitute lang natin mga given um, uh, numbers dito sa TNR. 2.5 at saka 400. So, magiging siyang K equals 2.5. Uh, yung time natin, 2.5. Then, yung rate natin ay 400 gallons per minute. Multiply natin, that is 1,000. So, nakuha na natin si K. And then, step 3, substitute the constant to the mathematical statement. So, substitute lang natin yung nakuha natin constant to 1,000 dito sa mathematical statement na to. So, makuha natin ay T equals 1,000 over R. Okay, example number 3. Um, ibang case naman ito. So, kagaya dun sa direct variation, meron tayong dalawang pares ng uh, variables, x, y. So, if y varies directly as x and y equals 10 when x equals 2, what is the value of y when x equals 10? So, yung pinapahanap dito ay yung value ng y. So, again, meron tayong dalawang pares ng variables dito. Itong y equals 10 at saka x equals 2. Ito yung unang pares natin. At ito naman yung pangalawang pares natin. Yung y at saka yung x equals 10. So, itong y equals 10 at saka x equals 2. Ito yung magiging um, y sub 1 at saka x sub 1 natin. At ito naman pangalawa is y sub 2 at saka x sub 2. So, dito yung magiging equation natin since inverse variation ito ang magiging equation natin ay x sub 1 times y sub 1 equals x sub 2 times y sub 2. Unlike dun sa direct variation na an ano siya, diba? proportion. Dinidivide natin yung x sub 1 tsaka y sub 1 tapos equate to x sub 2 over y sub 2. Y yun yung sa direct variation. Pero dito sa inverse variation, ipagmumultiply lang natin yung dalawang pares na yun. So, substitute lang natin si x sub 1 at y sub 1 at yung value ng x sub 2. So, yung y sub 1, x sub 1 natin ay, uh, yung x sub 1 natin ay 2, yung uh, y sub 1 natin ay 10, and si x sub 2 natin ay 10 dito, and y sub 2, yan yung hinahanap natin. And then, simplify lang 2 times 10, that's 20, 10 times y sub 2, that's 10 y sub 2. And we will divide both sides of the equation by 10 para ma-cancel ma itong kasama ni y sub 2. So, makuha natin ay um, cancel na ito, 10 divided by 10, that is 1. So, y sub 2 lang. And 20 divided by 10, that is 2. Okay? So, hanggang dito na lang yung video lesson natin. Uh, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at pindutin nyo na rin ang notification bell at at pindot na rin ang like button kung nakatulong itong video lesson sa inyo. So again, hanggang dito na lang. Paalam!